Tonight, a doctor is starting his prison sentence for the drunk driving crash that badly hurt a little girl. It happened last summer. In this video, you see the girl who was then five years old in her home. She walks into another room at the same time a car crashes into a granite mailbox and sends that post into the home. This afternoon, the driver responsible for that crash apologized to the girl and to her family. WBZ's Brandon Truitt was in the courtroom. He joins us now live in Manchester, New Hampshire. Brandon? Well, Lisa, at one point today in this trial, Scott Dowd, the defendant, looked over at the victim's father and said today was about owning his mistakes. The state, the prosecutors, wanted a maximum of two decades, but the judge settled for three and a half years in prison, and that does start today. The courtroom was full of people in support of both sides of this case as Dr. Scott Dowd pled guilty to four felony counts. Prosecutors say when his car slammed into this Salem, New Hampshire home last July, his blood alcohol level was more than four times the legal limit. The judge heard from witnesses of the crash and those close to the defendant, Dowd's own mother, speaking up for her son. Please let him return to treating his patients with the gifts God gave him. In the end, the judge ordered Dowd to a minimum of three and a half years in prison. It was Joe Tutroni's six-year-old girl who was injured last summer. I'm pretty happy with the judge's decision. Um, this is a huge weight uh, lifted off our, our family's shoulders, so big relief, big relief. Tutroni says his daughter spent three days in the hospital but remains in therapy from the trauma of it all. Oh, an absolute nightmare that it feels like we've never, never been able to wake up from. Um, just just happy to see that this this part of it's coming to an end for us all. The father says it's too early for forgiveness, but he hopes to close a chapter they never asked for. I do respect the fact that that he owned this and, and he pleaded guilt, guilty to it, but I just I can't forget the fact that he was trying to get the blood alcohol level removed from the case. And if he had done that, he may have gotten off. Dowd is going to be up for parole after three and a half years. If granted, he has 120 hours of community service that he has to do. It's worth noting he also had to turn over his medical license. Live in Brentwood, New Hampshire, Brandon True at WBZ News.